All right, now let's try a so-called Sudoku 6 puzzle. Now, this puzzle, as you'll see, contains six columns, six rows, and six rectangles or boxes. And you'll notice they are rectangles, not squares, uh, as they are two by three instead of two by two or three by three. And the numbers, the digits, that will appear in this puzzle are one through six. Looks like we've got one complete page of numbers. That's, uh, I believe, 20. So let's look at our clues. We've got one one-digit number, this four here, and one position for a one-digit number. So we'll go ahead and fill that number in and take a look at what we've got here. So we've got a four in this position. It means none of the other positions, none of the other cells in this box can be a four. Similarly, none of the other cells in the column or row with the four can be a four. So we can go ahead and, and uh, see that several of these numbers uh, will not fit in this position. So we've got one six two five three would fit and five three six two one. So let's look if we can narrow that down a little bit. Uh, so we'll look at this here, this vertical, and the one six two five three and the five three six two one. Now five three six two one a five would appear in the upper right corner. There's no five in the box, there's no five in the horizontal, and there's no five in the vertical. Great. So now moving on to three. There's no five in there's no three in this horizontal, vertical, or box. Perfect. Now we also have that this three is, this, this cell here is going to be part of a two-digit number. And that means that this, there must be a number where three is the second digit of the two-digit number. And we can see there is a two-digit number that would meet that criteria, and that is 63. So if this is 63, then this uh, can be 53621. Next, 6. Once again, there is no 6 in the horizontal, the vertical, or in the box. Perfect. Now, what about this three-digit number here? Well, uh, it should end in 6, so we would need to have a three-digit number that ends in 6. But if you look, you'll see that we do not have a three-digit number ending in 6. So this is not going to be the number that goes in the vertical. We only had one other option, and that was 16253. Uh, we can go ahead and, and do the sim a similar thing. We'll see that there's... Uh, no one in in the uh, horizontal, vertical, or box. No six horizontal, vertical, box. No two. No five. No three. And we can look. Uh, is there a, a two-digit number ending in six to go here? There's actually two options there. Is there a three-digit number ending in two? Yes, there is one. Is there a three-digit number ending in five? We have two. And is there a two-digit number ending in three to go here? And yes, we actually have one of those as well. So now we can be pretty confident that this number is going to go in this position. But let's go ahead and commit it to find out for sure. And we see that it did uh, accept that number in that position. So what we'll remember, though, is just a moment ago, we were talking about numbers that could 
go horizontal to this number and said that in this position there was only one number, one three digit number, that ended in two. So we can go ahead and fill this one in as well and there was only one two digit number that ended in three so that number must appear here. So go ahead and fill that in as well. Next, let's look at this vertical here with a number six, with a digit six in the middle of the number. We see there's only one option, that's three, six, one. So we'll go ahead and fill that in. And then we have the horizontal ending in three, five, three digits, must be one, three, five. Okay, so now we have a five digit number, it ends in one, and it cannot contain a four, because there's already a four in this row. Also could not contain a three or a six in the next to last digit, but let's set that aside for a moment. So we have two numbers, five, three, six, two, one, and six four five two one. Now is there any reason why either of these numbers could not appear in this position here? Do you see one? Right. Uh, the six four five two one could not be in this position because then there would be two fours in the row and that's not allowed. So this number must be five this uh, the number in this position must be five three six one. Let's go ahead and commit that and we'll see that we were right. Next, let's see here. Let's look at this two digit number. It's vertical. Ends in six. As we mentioned earlier, there are actually two, di two numbers that are two digit and end in six. There's two six and five six. But um, if we look here, we can see that the two should fit into the into this position. Uh, there is no two in this box, in this row, or in this column. How about the five? Well, there's no five in the row or the column, but there is a five in the box. So that's not going to work. And since those were the only two options, it must be the other option. And we see that we are once again right. That leaves us with this cell, uh, with this position over here, which is another two digit number ending in five, uh, ending in six. And since there's only one two digit number ending in six remaining, we can go ahead and commit that number as well. What to do next? Off of the five, see we have a three digit number vertically ending in five four. It's only one option. It's two five four. Now we have a five digit number ending in two going horizontally. There's only one option, three six five four two. Go ahead and fill that in. A vertical number starting with a four, then a mysterious space, six one, mysterious space. So we've only got one option, four three six one five. Now we have similarly starting with a six, five digits, one option. Go ahead and fill that in. And you'll see that as you go along the game becomes quite a bit easier and uh, you kind of build up a momentum toward uh, as you approach the end of the game. So we finished the game. Our time was 584 seconds. It's about 10 minutes. And now suppose you have a friend they want to challenge your best time. Hopefully they have not been 
watching you as you play or they're going to know the solution to the puzzle before they even start. But supposing that they don't know the solution and uh, you're willing to compete with them, you can go into the place menu, press versus. This is going to reset the puzzle, reset the number list, and allow the next player to start from the beginning. So they can fill in the four and so on. And when they finish, their score will be compared to yours. And in fact, you can have as many players as you like compete. And uh, the list of best times will keep track of the top 10 uh, scores.